here's how you make a post. From the home page, you can click on create at the top right. I'm gonna be making just one listing today, so I'll click listing. When I'm filling out the fields on this form, I wanna make sure that I'm taking the viewer's perspective into consideration. If I was searching for an item like this, what information would I need when I'm looking at the post? So with that in mind, I'll make a title for the post. Today I'll be posting a black stapler. You wanna make sure your title is concise and descriptive. For photos, I can add multiple photos. That can be helpful if you wanna capture multiple angles on your post. I've got two photos here. Great, those look good. I can change which one I want to be the main photo. That's easy. Next, for category, I can type in the category I want or I can search through the hierarchy to find what I need. For condition, I can select from the drop-down menu. I've got some options here. I'm gonna say my stapler is used and in good condition. If my item has an asset tag, I can include that here. Asset tags are used by some organizations to track things. Typically, it's a serial code on a sticker. If your item doesn't have one, you can click no. And if you have any questions about asset tags, you can use the help chat on the platform. Next, for description, I can enter in any details that I think the viewer might want to know about my item. This can include dimensions or the condition of the item. Maybe the item has a backstory that would be interesting to know. If there are important logistics um, in terms of pickup that the viewer might need to know. That's all good information to put in the description. Tags can be really flexible. Often they're a helpful way to stay organized when it comes to certain projects that are happening at your organization. Um, so for example, maybe this item is part of project XYZ. I can indicate that here and keep all my posts associated with that project organized. For pickup location, you can select your location from the hierarchy. For example, the hierarchy may be campus, building, floor, and we can go as far as room. The platform will remember your most recent location, otherwise you can navigate through the hierarchy to find the exact location you need. You may be able to add new buildings, floors, or rooms, and if you can't find the location you need, you can use the help chat. For price, you can set a price for your item if your organization has those enabled. Maybe I'm going to charge $5 for my stapler. If I leave it as zero, then the item would be listed as free. Market value per unit is one of our sustainability metrics. It helps the platform calculate how much cost avoidance your organization realizes through reuse. Market value, uh, a good way to think about that is how much would it cost to buy an item like this new? Um, maybe it would cost $7 to buy the stapler. It's okay to do an estimate. For quantity, today I'm going to be posting 10 staplers. Staplers are just a single count, but if I was posting an item that came in multiple count packs, for example, a pack of 10 pens, I could choose multiple count, and if I had three units of 10 packs of pens, I would say three units, and then the count can be 10. If I have any attachments to add, I can do so here. Maybe there's a user guide or a warranty that I would want to include. If your organization has sharing groups enabled, you can make that selection here. If you have any questions about sharing groups, you can click on the I icon over here to get more information about what those sharing groups are. And if you have any additional questions, you can always use the help chat. Weight per unit is another sustainability metric. It helps the platform track how much weight your organization is diverting from landfill as a result of reuse. This one, it's okay to do an estimate too. I'm gonna say my stapler is one pound. Finally, the expiration date helps keep the marketplace fresh. You could set a date in the future, let's say January 1st. 
If there are any remaining units on my post at that date, the post will revert to expired and it will be taken away from the marketplace and won't be active and other viewers can't see it. I, as the post owner, can always go back in and reactivate the post later. And that's it. I can save it as a draft if I want to come back and make an edit later. Otherwise, I can click on Publish and my post is ready to go. I can create another from this page. I can click on View to admire the post that I just made. And if I wanted to find my drafts again, I can do so by clicking on the Account menu, going to My Posts, clicking on Listings, and then taking a look at my draft posts. Happy posting. <laughs>